If your car made a racket like this, you'd get it checked out. But NASA named its Mars rover Perseverance, not Rolls-Royce. So all that clanking and scratching, they could care less. Yeah, it's it's not engineered for, you know, comfort. <laughs> so there's definitely sounds of, you know, moving up and down. It's got a lot of metal, so there's going to be creaking and groaning a little bit. NASA has now had a few months to study the hours of sounds first recorded by the rover, the first audio ever captured on another planet. It's not as sexy as the lander's descent or the subsequent drone flight, but hearing the winds of Mars adds to our sensory feel of another world. It doesn't really tie into the search for life or anything like that, but it tells us that there were things that we had predicted about the atmosphere that we didn't quite get right. NASA scientists knew the Martian atmosphere was thin, so they expected high-pitched sounds would either disappear or appear muffled. For example, this is what birds sound like on Earth. And to be clear, they haven't found birds on Mars, but if they did, this is what you'd hear. What surprised them was how far sound travels on the red planet. The Mars helicopter was 80 meters away. Yet the rover's microphones were still able to pick it up, proving science doesn't just look cool. With all of our upcoming uh, missions to you know, Jupiter's moons, different planets around the solar system, I think I think it would be a nice, um, you know, soundtrack, you know, sounds of the solar system. And here I thought we already had that. There's a star man waiting in the sky. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.